So, I'm going to put my face on this. Not because I need to. Not because I want to. But I'm going to put my face on this because I sat back and actually let it stoop. And we're going to see how that works out. Uh, we're, we're already seeing how it didn't work out. But, uh, sorry, I'm, I'm, in, I'm in the process of taking care of some business. There's, a, there's an issue in the news that we're all aware of. And it keeps getting spun again and again and again and again. And I just want to say that, you know, I, I haven't spoken about it yet. And, and this is me speaking about it. But I held back. I, I hold back a little bit, usually. And uh, this particular time, I held back. And I thought to myself, I'll let it play out. Because I am genuinely, truly interested in seeing where this goes. It can't go anywhere good. <clears throat> In case you've been in a, in a hole somewhere, I don't drink and I don't smoke. I don't partake of anything that my body really doesn't ask for, except for food itself. I will chase down an antelope and eat it with my bare hands. No questions asked. Food is food. I will consume like Homer Simpson. And, uh... I got Mountain Dew mouth. I spent tons of money on my children when I didn't have any money. And I had no insurance. And as a result, my teeth, regardless of how much I have brushed them, just didn't hold up. So I have some vices and I'm not perfect. But, but, I ain't the fuck up that we've been seeing on the internet and everywhere else that people are angry about. Today's video, I just want to point out, so we witnessed, all of us, witnessed mostly before we knew anything. We saw Kid Rock shoot a bunch of beer cans. They were Budweiser and he made it very clear that's how he felt about Budweiser. Now, being that I don't drink, being that I don't smoke, I don't hang out in those parties, I don't go to those clubs, I don't communicate with people who do that on a daily basis, it didn't come up for me for like six more hours. And then it was an apocalypse of everyone with an opinion one way or the other. Now here's the thing, alcohol has never mixed with politics. Alcohol does not mix with politics and alcohol never will mix with politics, okay? <clears throat> alcohol should have been neutral, stayed neutral, and always have been neutral, but it did. And it's not all of alcohol. It's one parent company forcing it on their, their cans. Budweiser put Dylan Mulvaney, the man who transitioned and became a trans woman, on their can. And we know this. We've seen the cans. We've seen the ads. We've seen Dylan Mulvaney and his little TikTok video advertising it when he clearly won had never drank the shit before, two, didn't know what March Madness was because he's pretending to be a woman and thinks women are stupid, and three, pretty much making fun of the March Madness sports because he's acting like, well, I mean, it's so unimportant, I haven't heard about it, and, you know, those were three pretty big fuck-ups right there, but, big butt, you know, if, if you just look past everything that you keep looking past, we didn't like it. I didn't like it because they were mixing politics with alcohol. 
I wouldn't have liked it if they put Trump on the can. I wouldn't have liked it if they'd have put Martin Luther King on the can. And to be honest with you, at that point, it wouldn't have been about politics. It would have been about because you don't mix alcohol with politics. And then, like, Martin Luther King, he said to be a better man. How many drunks in the street you know drinking water? None. Alcohol is already a bad substance. People are usually insulted to be associated with alcohol. Like, oh, he's a drunk. It's an insult, not a compliment. You know? That guy has drunk more beers in a weekend than he has seen his children ever. pretty big insult. I mean, you should see your children hundreds of times a day as they run in and out of their bedrooms, going to school, coming home, in and out of bathrooms, kitchen table, dinner table, kissing them before bed, yada yada, yada yada, yada yada. Anywho, alcohol is bad, and you shouldn't mix politics with it. But we did anyway, and we went in the direction that the Budweiser drinkers didn't like. The Budweiser drinkers are Southern American, hardworking, blue collar people. Some rednecks, some hicks, some white trash, some regular people. There are blacks, Native Americans, African Americans that, that drink beer, that drink Budweiser, but not everyone that drinks it just because they have a race that's not white is open to all of that bullshit. The people that drank Budweiser were hardworking people that at the end of the day did not want to be reminded of politics. They did not want to have to stare that guy in the face. Should I have said woman? It's, it's still not something we're entirely sure about yet, so I feel like I'm not going to get in trouble, but if I get in trouble, again, I'm sorry. But, I mean, you can't get blood out of a turnip. I got like three bucks to my name. Can't, can't do anything with that. I, I, I don't care if someone is offended. I'm willing to be politically correct if being politically correct was easy and it's not and it, I, I already work 14 15 16 hours a day when I work I'm not spending 12 hours more trying my damnedest to learn and understand what it is people are crazed about this week and I'm not even a drinker so let's let's dial that back and really think about it so, the hardworking Americans, they drink these drinks and they're looking to forget their problems. They're looking to forget politics. They're looking to get away from all of these things that are being shoved down their throat day in and day out. Oh. So, and they don't like it. So they stop drinking it. And they go on the internet and tell you they're not drinking it. They shove it down the internet's throat right back at you right back at you Budweiser so Budweiser they've already hired this lady and she's the new executive or something and she goes you know I'm going to set these people straight I'm going to set them straight so she gets up there and she gets on her camera and she says we're leaving y'all behind you're not woke you're not new you're not young you're not hip we don't care. Budweiser is going in a new direction. And if you can't come, doesn't hurt us a bit. Well, their profits plummeted so hard, so hard, so hard, that they immediately put out what had to have been rushed because one, they didn't think about it too much and two, because it was too quick of damage control to have not already been made. It's like something that they had made at some point 
and then locked away and never chose to use. That's how fast this video came out. But they made a video and they did a good job and they spent a long time on it. It's a long advertisement. And they try to appeal to rednecks, white guys, blue collar workers, American folk. They got a horse running. They got the open, I, I don't know if it's Arizona or Utah or Missouri or Mississippi, but they got this wide open land and open spaces and it's just free roaming horse just running and they got this white guy talking with a deep baritone southern american kind of tone and they are pouring their heart out to you about how budweiser has been with y'all through the best of it through the worst of it it was there it was there they show you the twin tower which either is proof that it's a old video and they're just throwing it out there for damage control or, or in poor taste, they're trying to show you something to pull on your heartstrings and remind you, hey, people have died that drank our beer. You know, we keep crossing lines that we shouldn't be crossing, and at some point, you just have to shrug your shoulders, put your head down, and go, you know what? Y'all were right. Y'all who did not want to drink this can because there was politics on it were correct. Dylan Mulvaney should not have been on our can. And I, the lady who got up and said we didn't need you, was wrong. We were wrong. I am wrong. We're sorry. And of course, they wouldn't have gotten everybody back. It is too late now to get anybody back. But they should have done that because that's the right thing to do. And of course, America is not about doing the right thing anymore. It's about making sure you're more hardcore woke than the last person. Some people are going to be so fucking woke they would kill someone for having a red hat that doesn't even say MAGA because it's similar enough. I'm getting very tired of it. Very, very, very tired of how some people can do this, but other people can't do this. Some people can do that, but other people can't do that. And at the end of the day, what you, what you get is a list of people who are allowed to do really horrible things and people who are not allowed to be doing really horrible things. And my proof, I will cut into my hero, my friend, my, my, uh, a fan of mine. I mean, let me, let me explain this. The greatest president that I've ever seen was not Donald Trump was probably Richard Nixon but if we say nowadays last my lifetime greatest president ever it was Trump Trump the the pedestal that I put him on for, for using the words that he's used the predictions that he's made the statements that he's made the actions he has taken Trump was a Democrat he was a Democrat for years Years and years and years. He was a Democrat when he was in the movie Home Alone. He was a Democrat when he was with Stormy Daniels. He was a Democrat when he was cheating on his wife. He was a Democrat when he was filing his taxes the way all the other Democrats file their taxes. He was a Democrat when he was running all of these businesses that y'all are suddenly worried about being phony. But no one gave a shit until he became a Republican. All of a sudden, all these things that he's been doing are suddenly wrong now. Why? Oh, because we don't like you anymore. We don't, we don't want you to have our benefits. We don't want you to have our privilege. We are the Democrats. We, you left us. No, you can't have them. So, like, that's, that's the proof of, in the pudding. Okay, but, but, to so now Budweiser can offend all of its current customers 
piss in your faces. Tell you to fuck off. They're leaving you behind. And they think you're so stupid that if they show you 9-11 and put the word Bush behind it, that you're going to go drink a fucking Bud Light all over again like it was nothing. You should be pissed. Really, truly pissed. How stupid do they think you are? I mean, I don't drink beer. And I'm glad I don't drink beer. But I would be very fucking offended if people thought that I'm dumb enough, drunk enough, stupid enough, retarded enough, special needs to the point that I didn't know any better, that someone could just go, oh, look at the little idiot, and punch me in the face, and then go, shut up and give me your lunch money. No, 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 you don't get both. You don't get both, bud. So, they expect you to suddenly start giving them money again and drinking their piss water. Why? I already said, because you're stupid. Yeah, yeah. And meanwhile, Dylan Mulvaney has not set up an apology or anything else either. He doesn't feel like he's done anything wrong. And, you know, at first glance, you would think that he really hasn't, but he also participated in this because he gave them the rights to use his image. So, by doing this, Dylan Mulvaney shoved politics onto a can. And if you're on the left, or you're LGBTQ pro, or any of this, and you do like to drink beer, but you wanted to sit down and relax, he ruined your beer too. Okay? It may not, you, you may not even be a Bud Light fan, but he chose a beer that you didn't choose. There you go. I, I'm a very simple man, and I have a couple of gears. There is, it's not electronic yet. It's no hard disk drive up here. I'm not up with the times. I have steam powered and gears turning, a couple of chains and some levers. I'm steampunk up in this bitch. But my gears turn and say that everyone involved in this is refusing to comment because they're too stubborn and stupid to change and say I'm sorry they don't know when they're wrong and it's baffling that y'all aren't staying mad if you stay mad keep those numbers down maybe they'll understand we need to be taking out each and every company that does this shit but we can't afford to do all of them. We need to focus on one until it's gone and then focus on another one until it's gone and then focus on another one until it's gone. And mean in the meantime, while you're worried that these LGBTQ people are going to be saying, "Oh, you're 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 so silly for being upset about a can." Remember, they were pissed off about Hogwarts a couple of weeks ago. The the video game yeah, they were pissed off about a video game that had nothing to do with somebody who wrote a book that they loved for years until they suddenly didn't align with her politics anymore. Remember, they didn't want the Indian on the Lando Lakes butter, so they kept the land and got rid of the Indian. Remember, they didn't want the black guy on the rice, so they got rid of the black guy and kept the rice. They didn't want a black woman on the syrup so they took the black woman off and kept the syrup they don't like shit that's their fault they're little crybabies don't let them win seriously you know what happens when you keep letting people win suddenly pedophilia becomes a thing oh that's right oh that's right the UN said just today that pedophilia is no longer something to be ashamed about that it's it's a thing that should be protected that's right this is what happens when you continue to let your morals get eaten away until they're gone and everyone should be fucking ashamed